It all started back in the 1950s with the Italians. It was La Dolce Vita, and F1 was dominated by engines from Alfa Romeo, Maserati, and of course, Ferrari. That is until Blackjack Brabham had the novel idea of taking the engine out of here and putting it all the way back here. 1958 saw the first rear engine success when Sterling Moss won the Argentine Grand Prix in the Cooper T43. 1967 was a seminal year. It's when we were introduced to the legendary Lotus 49 engine, which went on to dominate for the next decade in Formula One racing. The reign of the Lotus was brought to an end by Renault's introduction of the first turbocharged engine in 1977. <laughs> At first derided and mocked by the other teams, turbocharged engines, like everything else in the 80s, got bigger and more powerful throughout the decade, until they were banned in 1989. The early noughties saw the return of the three-litre engines, which by 2005 were reaching incredible speeds of up to 370 kilometres per hour. So the FIA introduced a new 2.4-litre engine. And this is pretty much how things have remained until this year, when Formula One is seeing some of the biggest engine changes in over 20 years. 